Welcome to Dr. Deborah Shelley's Human Anatomy Tutorial. I'm your host, Rachel, and in this video, we'll be going over the coxal bone. So this is your coxal bone. It's one of the three bones that will make up your pelvic girdle. During development, your coxal bone is actually in three different parts, and now we just name them as regions. So your first one up here is the ilium. This posterior part over here is your ischium. The front part is the pubis. Now for the actual structures. This ridge up here is called the iliac crest. This little point is the anterior superior iliac spine. One right below it is the anterior inferior iliac spine. And then right here, this big hole is the acetabulum. It articulates with the head of the femur to form your ball and socket joint of your hip. On this side over here, we have the greater sciatic notch. Right below it is the lesser sciatic notch. In between the sciatic notches, you'll have the ischial spine. Right here where my finger was on is your ischial tuberosity. It broke off a little bit, but you get the gist. The ischial tuberosity right here, it's actually what hits the chair when you sit down. This guy right here. This rough area is the auricular surface of the ilium. When you have your pelvic girdle, you'll have your sacrum fit right here and it will form the sacroiliac joint. Auricular actually means ear-like and in your book especially, it actually looks like an ear. This big hole right here is the obturator foramen. So for the, your last two terms, you're gonna need an actual pelvic girdle. Your pubic symphysis, which is made of hyaline cartilage, which will actually stretch during pregnancy in women. Your next term is the pubic arch, which is right here. And actually that is one way to tell gender of a skeleton. This is a woman's and you can tell it's pretty wide, a pretty wide angle. This is a male's. In comparison, it is much more narrow. So this is a male's pubic arch. 